Hey guys, I'm here to do another tag for you. This tag was created by Kaylee. Uh, she created this tag and she tagged me, so thank you. This tag is a lot of fun. It's a blast from the past, very nostalgic tag. This is the childhood questions tag. Kaylee made up questions regarding things in your childhood. Let me uh, bring you back to yesteryear. Um, very, very long time ago when, um, when things were happening. <laughs> I am a child of the 90s. I was born in the late 80s, grew up in the 90s. Awesome time to be growing up, let me tell you. It was so much fun. I don't know how kids are getting by now at this time in the, in the 2000s. I don't get it. You will recall it was pretty darn awesome. Old Nick tunes were great. Even the commercials during the 90s were awesome. I don't know what's going on now, but it's just not... How it used to be. <laughs> so that's that. Let's get on with the questions. Let's get more specific. First question is, what is your favorite childhood book? My favorite childhood books were by Robert Munch. And in particular, Purple, Green, and Yellow. That was an awesome book. I mentioned it before. It's a book about markers and all the types of markers you could possibly want. It talks about peer pressure and being artistic. It's a very artsy kid when I was growing up, as you can tell. Question number two is favorite year in elementary school. My favorite year in elementary would have to be grade three. That's the grade I remember most. We did a lot of things. That's when French was introduced to us. My grade three teacher, she, she was a French lady. For her students during French class, she would give us French names. And my French name in grade three was Claudette. When I was in grade three, I actually thought Claudette was the French translation of my name, Priscilla. I was a very slow, slow kid. That kind of carries on till now. Claudette was just a French name, Claudette. And uh, that was my French name, so I thought that was awesome. It's also the first time I read an actual novel. Roald Dahl's James and the Giant Peach, that was my first novel. It was great. That was the year also we were given homework. The nerd that I am, I was very excited that we were actually given homework, that we could actually take work home because you can never have enough schoolwork during school. I, I wanted to do work um, at home too. So grade three, a very exciting time. Question number three is my best friend when I was a kid. My best friend was actually my next door neighbor. We were pretty tight during elementary. We were the shortest kids in class. And so we just kind of gravitated towards each other, yes. Question number four is worst haircut as a kid. Our childhood, at least mine anyways, was the darkest period in my hair life, yeah. Um, I don't have just one, I have two very bad haircuts. When I was a kid, I sported the mushroom cut, mushroom slash bowl haircut, and it was very short. My bangs were kind of straight and off to the side. It was a very tomboyish look. I was kind of a tomboy also when I was little. And my second worst haircut was getting a perm. And it was very curly, very wavy, and very, very bad. It's not good. Pretty funny though. Signs of the late 80s, early 90s. Question number five is favorite childhood TV show. There are a lot of TV shows during the 90s that were supremely awesome. I'm sorry for those who haven't experienced it. You know, you guys have the Disney generation at least. I'll narrow it down to my top five. Magic School Bus, Miss Frizzle and her class, the hijinks that ensue when they go on field trips is awesome. You also get to learn about different things. The Solar System episode was awesome. The next show I want to talk about is Bill Nye the Science Guy. He was the guy to learn about science. I love that show. You get to learn so much and there were little activities during the episodes and it was so much fun. He made learning a lot of fun. Science was one of my favorite subjects growing up because of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Great episodes, dinosaurs, matter, Learning about matter was so cool. Uh, the next show I want to talk about is Arthur. Arthur the Aardvark. Awesome episodes. He read as a kid. There was Buster, Francine, Muffy, Sue Ellen, Binky Barnes. Great characters. Great educational fun stuff. Hijinks with DW. Next show, Wishbone. I talked about Wishbone before in another video. He was the coolest dog ever. I wanted him as my dog. He introduced me to the classics. I wouldn't have known about 
Jane Eyre, Tale of Two Cities, Don Quixote, Shakespeare, you know, all that good stuff. So Wishbone, awesome, great show. And of course, Reading Rainbow, LeVar Burton is the man of reading. He made me fall in love with reading, got me to the library every weekend. We could go on and on with TV shows, but let's stop there. Question number six is favorite school field trip. The museum was really fun. There were a lot of cool displays. Going into the planetarium was really awesome, especially when you're a little kid looking up and having all these flashing lights and shiny things thrown at you. You're uh, very amazed and uh, easily impressed. Question number seven is favorite childhood movie. Basically anything from Disney and Pixar during those times were awesome. Lion King, Toy Story, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. Non-Disney movie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was a freaking awesome movie. I mean the intro credits to all the chocolate making factory stuff. Eight is uh, your worst childhood trouble. My worst childhood trouble involved me getting into a lot of accidents. I was very accident prone. Getting hit in the face with several sports equipment. Not being very coordinated in walking or running or things of a physical nature. So I had a lot of trouble in that aspect. Question number nine is your worst childhood memory. Uh, my worst childhood memory, I believe it was in grade two, kind of threw up on some kid's shoes and, um, or someone threw up on mine. I just remember vomit and close proximity. So. Yes. Last question, question number 10 is your biggest childhood fear. My biggest childhood fear was getting lost. I was a tiny, tiny kid growing up, kind of get lost easily and that wasn't fun at all. So yes, that is everything. So the people I tagged are beautiful reader. Christina Vlog 622 and Lara L. Wing. If you girls would like to do this, feel free to, don't have to, no pressure at all but anyone feel free to do it as well talk to you guys later hope you guys are having a good week and yeah childhood are 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 are, are uh, um 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 and um and it was you know